Jesus. Jesus. Woo! Woo! We get to worship the living God again. And today we're going to plow the ground with Psalm 36. Lord, you are the fountain of life. Huh? What? What'd you say, Ken? Psalm 36, verses 9 and 10. We're going to be abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, Lord. And you give us to drink from the river of your pleasures. Ah. Woo. Man, Jesus. And then verse 10, for within you, Lord, there is found the fountain of life. So I'm going to sing it for a minute. Sing it for a little bit. Here at Psalm 36, we get to enter into the courts of heaven today with the eternal word of God. Yeah, yeah. Fountain of life, river of your pleasure. There's a river of delights, or the river of your pleasures, God. Scripture records the power of who he is as the fountain of all life. The fountain of all life, Lord. Because within your presence is fountain of life. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Lord, you are the fountain of life, fountain of life, fountain of life, and you cause us to drink from the rivers of your pleasures in your delight. You are the fountain, Father, you are the fountain of life, you cause us to drink from the rivers of your pleasures. Psalm 36 verses 9 and 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. 8, 9, and 10. Learn it out. Within your presence is the fountain of life. Within your presence, Lord, is the fountain of life. Yeah, and you cause us to drink from the rivers of your delight. The river of your delight. From the rivers of we're drinking of the goodness and the power of the fountain of life. Fountain of life. Within your presence, the original fountain, fountain of life. Woo! No disease can stand 
in the presence of the fountain of all life. Yeah. Just so everybody can get there, we're doing Psalm 36 today. The fountain of life, Lord, you are the fountain of life, and you cause us to drink from the rivers of your delight. Within your being, Lord, within your being, Lord, is the fountain of all life. Oh, my God. Within your presence, within your presence, is the fountain of all life. And you cause us to drink. I'm drinking from the river of your delights. I'm drinking from your river, the river of your delights. I'm drinking from the river of your pleasures, God. This is what the Bible declares, decrees, and reveals. We are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house. Huh. Huh. I am fully satisfied, abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, Lord. And you give us to drink from the river of your pleasures. That is the new King James straight up. What a scripture. Hey, thanks for sharing. Woo! Because in your house, we eat and are full at your table. And then we're there drinking from the river of your overflowing kindnesses. Woo! The other translation says we're drinking from the river of your delights. That is so, so powerful on so many levels as New Testament believers looking forward to the New Testament and a new covenant in and by his blood. Ha! Drinking from your river of delights. Drinking from your river, Lord, the river of your pleasures. Here we are, drinking from your river of delights, of delights. When we're drinking from in the Holy Spirit, in the power and by the power of your Holy Spirit, we're drinking from the river of your delights, river of your pleasures. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. For within your presence, Lord, is life's own fountain. What? For the wellspring of life is with you, Lord. <laughs> John 10.10, 10, somebody quoted for me on the stream today. John, the devil came, Jesus' words, red letter Bible, bro. The devil, I'm telling you, Jesus said, the devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. Stop right there. So if we just invert all three of those, to kill, he said, I came to give life, life more abundantly. Steal, he said, I own everything. You don't have to steal nothing. <laughs> the Lord Jesus said, hey, you don't have to steal anything. I own it all. <laughs> kill, steal, and destroy. The Lord says, I came to repair, restore, and rebuild. Man, Kent, good preaching. Keep going, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the opposite of kill is this scripture that your Psalm 36 verse 9 the well springs of life are within your presence or they're within your person God it's so personal so the opposite back to John 10 10 the opposite of kill is to give birth to and to cause life steal he said you don't have to steal anything not me I own it all I'll give it to you Oh, this is a holy moment, man. This was not even on my grid. We got the stream started. Woo! Thank you, Lord. (laughs) 
kill, steal, destroy. He said, oh no, I came to rebuild, restore, and repair. How about the tabernacle of David? He's the opposite. He said, the devil, the enemy, came to kill, steal, and destroy, but I came. I'm giving you life. Life more abundantly. I've given you life. And life more abundantly. I came to give you life. You've got life more abundantly, more abundantly. I came to release all the life of a loving Father God, yeah. I came and I gave you abundant life, more abundantly, more abundantly. Can I get a yes, Lord, and an amen from somebody on this stream out there? Yeah. I came and gave you abundant life, life more abundantly in every way, shape, or form. Think about life and life more abundantly yeah. Yeah. I got it Maurice I would have despaired unless I had believed <laughs> to see the goodness of the Lord that's our friend Michael Lopez that's one of his favorite scriptures and Maurice Crane the worship leader of the century get busy bro stay busy I would have despaired unless I had believed to see the goodness of the in the land of the living what was it i would have despaired unless i had believed to see the goodness of the lord in the land of the living in the land of the living i'm in i'm in this land of the living Abundant life in the Lord. Spirit of the living God is so good today, guys. We're drinking from the river, the river of your delights. Lord, we keep on drinking from your river of pleasures and delights. in you. Oh, in your presence is the fullness of life. Abundant light, abundant rivers of life, rivers of delights and of your pleasures, God. Psalm 36 tells us straight up, Psalm 36 tells us straight up, satisfied with you we are very satisfied with you and your river of delights I want you to get this Carla will share it later the note in the Passion Bible said by the way the Garden of Eden had flowing rivers of delight and Eden means pleasure. The Hebrew word here is the plural form of Eden. It's Edens, the rivers of his pleasures. Let's go. Psalm 36, time to narrate the Bible. Praise and Carla. Psalm 36, fountain of life. Lord, you are the fountain of life. We drink from the rivers of your delights. Wow. Hey. Highlighted verses are five. Your mercy, Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Seven, how precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. Eight, we are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, and you give us drink from the river of your pleasures. And nine, for with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see life. We see light. In your light, we see light. Wow. 
Father God, we come today to eat from your table, to drink from your fountains. We will be abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, God. We pray that you would give us light from your fountain of life. Give us wisdom and understanding. Pour out your unfailing love on all of us who love you, God. Psalm 36, verse 1. An oracle within my heart concerning the transgressions of the wicked, there is no fear of God wow. before his eyes. Wow. Sin speaks in the depths of the soul of those who oppose God. They listen closely to sin and its urgings. You'll never see the fear of God in their eyes. The wicked man said, my trespass, my trespass is my concern alone. And so the fear of God, the reverence for God is not in his heart. The rebellion of sin speaks as an oracle of God, speaking deeply to the conscience of wicked men. Yet they are still eager to sin, for the fear of God is not before their eyes. For he flatters himself in his own eyes when he finds out his iniquity and when he hates. For he makes much of himself in his own eyes, so his sin is not known and hated. But he did deceitfully before God wow. until his wickedness was found to be hateful. See how they flatter themselves, unable to detect and detest their sins. They are crooked and conceited, convinced they can get away with anything. We're singing the fear of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is rising. All over America and the nation, the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. The Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Come on, somebody sing with me yeah. The spirit of the fear of the Lord here. Yeah. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. We prophesy it's rising in America. The spirit of the fear of the Lord making it to every city and county and state in our nation. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. It says they did not fear God. They had no fear of God before their eyes. Man, I'm not okay with that, dude. But I was out there. I was a sinner before I was saved. And I needed, well, the spirit. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. And I need that spirit. The spirit of the fear of the Lord. We release it right now, Spirit. The Spirit of the fear. Of, let the fear of the Lord come across America, God. Sweep through this nation with the Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Come on, Lord. Sweep through this in every city, county, and state. Spirit of the fear of it begins. The Spirit of the fear of the Lord is clean. It's the beginning of every outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Sing it out, prophesy in the land. Yeah. It's the Spirit. Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Woo! We're praying the, and singing the opposite. Verse 1 and 2 where they had no fear of the Lord. Let it be known first among your people, Lord. And then unsaved folks will go, like in the Hebrides revival will say, they fell to their knees on the streets of the Hebrides Island and gave their life to the Lord. They weren't even in a church meeting. 
Uh, this is chock full today, Psalm 36. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit. He has ceased to be wise and to do good, that is the wicked man. He devises wickedness on his bed. He sets himself in a way that is not good, nor does he abhor evil. It reminds me, do we hate the things that God hates and do we love the things he loves? See, the wicked man and woman, they're speaking words of evil and deceit. Route it out, Lord, we pray. Wisdom and goodness they deserted long ago. Wow. Even as they sleep, they're plotting mischief. Are you kidding me? No. It says that even while they're sleeping, they're plotting mischief. They journey along a path far from anything good, gravitating to trouble. They even welcome evil. They're welcoming evil. He thought of wickedness in his bed. He stood near to all the ways that are not good and in truth. He did not hate malice. Their wicked words are nothing but lies. Wisdom is far from them. Goodness is both forgotten and goodness has been forsaken. Stop right there. Wow. Goodness by these people that love evil have forgotten goodness and they've forsaken goodness. They lie awake at night to hatch all their evil plots, always planning their schemes, the schemes of darkness, and never once do they consider the evil of their ways. Do it again. Spirit, spirit of fear of the Lord. We cry out, Lord, we need the spirit of the fear of the Lord, yeah. the spirit of the fear of the Lord, across our nation, across this land, every nation needs to know, every nation needs to see, but every nation needs, the spirit of the, come on, sing it out again, I said, well. Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Woo! Spirit of the fear of a holy God. And now, now, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Even right now, we pray, prophesy to America. We prophesy to America. The spirit of the fear of the Lord is falling on you. Some of this wickedness is going to get cleaned up. It's going to be found out. Conviction of right and wrong and righteousness and justice is falling like a rain. What'd you say? I said the conviction of righteousness and justice falling like a rain. Wow. For the conviction of righteousness and justice falling like a rain. It's pretty heavy, but that's a good start to our day to day and our week. And then he goes to my mercy. If anybody wants to come in, Carla. Your mercy, O oh Lord, is in the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Your love, O oh Eternal One, towers high into the heavens. Even the skies are lower Ooh. than your faithfulness. Oh, my God. Lord, your love, yeah. your loyalty and covenant love reaches, it extends to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Oh, yeah. Your unfailing love, O oh Lord, is as vast as the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches beyond the clouds but you O oh lord your mercy seat love is limitless oh, my mercy lord. seat love reaching higher than the highest heavens Woo! your great faithfulness is infinite stretching over the whole earth oh we gotta get with the passion right here 
mercy seat love mercy seat love overtaking my life it's how I live every day I sing mercy seat love oh your mercy seat love is carrying me every day ah, mercy seat love you poured out your life Jesus in mercy seat love on the top of the ark with the two cherubim is mercy seat and mercy seat love oh I know I got to know I got to know more of your mercy seat love Lord Jesus oh your mercy seat love yeah how many love that how many love that with it that by you, O oh Lord, your mercy seat love is limitless. Limitless. Mercy seat love. Mercy seat love. It is limitless. No boundaries. With your mercy seat love. Your mercy, mercy seat love. You guys get that? Wow. It's limitless. It knows no boundaries. The love that was shown by the outpouring of the blood of the Son of God. Wow. Mercy seat. Verse 6. Your righteousness is like the great mountains, Lord. Your judgments are a great deep, O oh Lord. You persevere. You preserve man and beast. Wow. Your justice, yes, your justice, check it, is like majestic mountains. That gives me so much hope, you guys. If his justice is like majestic mountains, there's nobody on this earth outrunning that. Your judgments are as deep as the oceans. And yet in your greatness, you, O oh, eternal, offer life. For every person and every animal, you offer life to every person. No one's left out, Lord. Yet in your greatness, you, O oh, eternal one, are offering life, abundance of life to every person, every animal, it says. You are as right and good as the mountains are big. Better say it again, Ken. Okay. You are as right and good as the mountains are big. You are fair when you judge as the sea is deep. Oh, Lord, you keep safe both men and animals. Finally, the passion says your righteousness is unmovable. Thank God. Your righteousness is unmovable. Just like the mighty mountains, your judgments are as full of wisdom as the oceans are full of water. Might have to sing that. Your tender care and kindness leave no one forgotten. Not a man, nor even a mouse. Not a creature was stirring, Carla. I can't help it. I think of that little poem. But it says, Your judgments are full of wisdom, like the oceans are full of water. What? Your judgments are full of wisdom, as the oceans are full of water. Wow. That's a lot. And then tender care. Tender care and kindness. You leave no one forgotten, Lord. Your tender care and kindness leaves no one forgotten, Lord. 
your tender care and kindness leave no one forgotten no lord your tender care and kindness leave no one forgotten lord ah, your tender care and kindness leaves no one forgotten or forsaken lord yeah tender care and kind oh my god leaves no one forgotten or forsaken no one is forsaken or forgotten because of your tender care your kindness no one I said no one Forsaken or forgotten, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one, no one is forsaken and forgotten, Lord, because of your, because of your tender care, your tender kindness. What? Your tender care, your kindness. Seven. How precious is your loving kindness, O God. Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of your wings. Oh, my Lord. Your strong love, O true God. Strong your strong love is precious. All people run for shelter under the shadow of your wings. For you, God, have multiplied your love and your mercy, so the sons and daughters of men hope and trust in the covering of your wings. How precious is your mercy, O Elohim! The sons of men take refuge, they find refuge in the shadow of your wings. O God, how extravagant is your cherishing love. Yes, your cherishing love. All mankind can find a hiding place under the shadow of your wings. Your cherishing love. The translation that Carla read says your cherishing love. Your cherishing love. Your cherishing love. Your cherishing love provides our hiding place. Your cherishing love, your cherishing love, your cherishing love provides our hiding place. And under the shadow of your wings, under the shadow, oh my God, of your wings. And under the, you provide all mankind a hiding place. What? You provide. You provide all mankind a hiding place. Your cherishing love. Your cherishing love, your cherishing love provides me my hiding place. Your cherishing love, your cherishing love, your cherishing love provides me my hiding place. Under the shadow of your wings is my hiding place under the shadow of your wing there i find my hiding place 
Would you say I sang out my hiding place Under the shadow of your wings Under the shadow of your wings Is my under the shadow shadow of you is my hiding place. Get it, get it. Under the shadow. Verse 7. Awesome and powerful to change my life and to deliver. We go to verse 8. Get ready, get ready. We are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, Lord. And you give us to drink, wow, from the river of your pleasures. Come on, gotta hear it again. That is straight up New King James Version. No frills on that, man. It's, it's just awesome, very defined. We are abundantly satisfied with the fullness of your house, Lord and you give us to drink, check it, from the river of your pleasures, wow. Because in your house, we eat, and we're very full at your table. Remember, he sets a table in the presence of our enemies. <laughs> and we drink from the river of your overflowing Kindness is, this is the voice translation. What? We're now drinking from the river of your overflowing kindness. I believe this is getting us ready for up through next Christmas in the new year 2022. This thing can carry us there. You feed them with blessings from your own table. What? It says he's feeding us from the blessings of his own table. It's the Living Bible and the Good News Translation. We feast on the abundant food you provide and you let us drink from the river of your goodness. We drink and we drink from the rivers of your delights. You let us drink from the, let it get in your spirit. I'm going slow on purpose, verse eight. And you're satisfied with rich foods at your house and you let us drink from the river of your delights. I gotta tell you, I've known this psalm for a long time but my good friend Latrice she's the one who pointed it out maybe seven eight years ago I went what I said what the river of delights all may drink from the anointing of the abundance of your house come on in know them you'll be drinking from the anointing of the abundance of the house of the Lord oh let's Let's stay here. Drinking from the anointing of the abundance of your house. We are drinking from the abundance, the anointing of the abundance of your house. Drinking from the anointing of the abundance of your house. There it is. Wow, that is so such provision jehovah jireh said all may drink of the anointing of the abundance of my you said what lord come and drink from the anointing of the abundance of my. okay let us drink and let us drink lord and let us partake of the anointing of the abundance of your house 
the anointing of the abundance of your house. Wow. That all may drink their fill from the delightful springs of Eden. <laughs> there, it again, there it is again. All may drink their fill from the delightful springs of Eden. And I'm not going to sing this because we need to go right into nine and then I'll sing, Carl. Verse nine. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. You have the fountain of life that quenches our thirst. Your light has opened our eyes and awakened our souls. Wow. For life's own fountain is within your presence, and in your smile we have the light of life. For the wellspring of life is in you, Lord. All life came from you. By means of your light, we see light. And the passion says to know you. To know you is to experience a flowing fountain, drinking in your life, springing up to satisfy. In your light, we receive the light of revelation. The footnote in the Passion says the Garden of Eden had flowing rivers of delight. Eden means pleasure. The Hebrew word here is the plural form of Eden, Edens, rivers of pleasure. To know you, to know you, I'm experiencing a flowing fountain of the wellspring of life, the flowing fountain. You're the flowing fountain, God, of the wellspring of life. Oh, I experience you as you are the flowing fountain. You are the flowing fountain of the wellspring of all life. The wellspring of all life, Lord. You are the flowing fountain of the wellspring of all life. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are the flowing fountain of the wellspring of life the wells within your presence is the spirit of life yeah. we're getting schooled today everybody on this live stream we're getting school we're going to sunday school bible school and heaven school all mixed up in one this is full of powerful revelation to know you is to experience a flowing fountain that is a wellspring. You are the fountain of life. You are the fountain of life, Lord. We count on you. You are the fountain of life. are the fountain of light and that beautiful on your worst day you got to think about it on the mediocre days you're saying I'm drinking from the abundance of the anointing of the fountain of life oh you are the fountain of life I'm drinking from the rivers of your I'm drinking from the rivers of your very delights the river of your presence, the river of you are the wellspring of life. You are the fountain of life. Oh Lord, we're singing it out loud today. You are, you are the wellspring. You are the wellspring of the fountain of life I'm counting on it Lord see no sickness or disease could stand against him he is the wellspring of the fountain of life 
oh sure they can do in vitro fertilization and do something in the laboratory you can't impart a spirit only God says that only the Lord I think it's Job 35 he said I'm the father of all human spirits that's right at conception he imparts no 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 scientist or doctor can do that bro ha ah, because you are the wellspring the wellspring that's the Christian standard Bible and the new life version for life's own fountain is found within your presence still going on today still going on today he's still the fountain and wellspring we're in abundant life say it out loud I'm in abundant life woo I'm in abundant life let's finish up Psalm 36 oh continue your loving kindness to those who know you Lord righteousness to the upright in heart may your love continue to grow deeply in the lives of all who know you may your salvation reach every heart committed to do the right things pour out your unfailing love on those who know you, Lord. Never stop giving your blessing to those who long to do your will. Lord, keep pouring out your unfailing love on those who are near you. Release more of your blessings to those who are loyal to you. Release more of your blessings, 11 and 12. Verse 11, let not the foot of pride come against me, and let not the hand of the wicked drive me away. Give me shelter from prideful feet that hunt me down, and shelter from the wicked hands that push me from your path. Don't let those proud and merciless people kick me around or chase me away. Don't let these proud boasters trample me down. Don't let them push me around by the sheer strength of their wickedness. Verse 12, there the workers of iniquity have fallen. They have been cast down and are not able to rise. It is there far away from you that the wicked will be forced down face to the earth never again returning to their feet see where evil people have fallen there they lie unable to rise those who do evil have been defeated they have been defeated and fall there they are overwhelmed they cannot do evil any longer or arise again. There they lie in the dirt, these evil ones, thrown down to the ground, never to rise again. Justice and judgment. Wow. May seem harsh, but dude, if you make your bed, you might have to lay in that, but I want to sing this. You give me shelter from prideful feet that hunt me down, O oh Lord. You give me shelter. You give me shelter, Lord, from prideful feet that try to hunt me down. I think that's so powerful. We are sheltered from the wicked and their wicked hands 
We are sheltered from the wicked and their wicked hands. You shelter us from the wicked and their wicked hands, O oh Lord. Trying to push me from your path. I'm not leaving the path of the Lord. How about you guys? This voice translation says, you shelter me from the wicked hands that try to push me from your path. I'm not leaving the path of the Lord. Better is one day, finish it for me, guys. Better is one day, yeah, yeah. You give me shelter from the wicked and the wicked hands. I will not be pushed from your path. I will not be pushed from your path of life. You shelter me from the wicked and the wicked hands. They were trying to push me from your path. I'm not leaving this path of life in you, Lord. They were trying to push me from your path, the path of life. I said, no, 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 no. I won't be pushed from the path of life, the light of the Lord, the life of the Lord. You will not push me from the path, the path of the Lord. I'm walking on the path of the life. I'm walking in the path of your life. I will not be moved. Yeah. I will not be moved from your path of life, Lord. I will not be moved from your path of life, Lord. I will not be moved now. From your path of life, I will not be moved. I will stay in the ways of abundant life. I'm staying in your ways of abundant life, Lord. Yeah. Staying in the ways of your abundant life, I will stay in your life. Yeah. We are walking in the ways of your abundant life. We will not be moved, oh Lord. We're Walking in the ways of your abundant light, I will not be, I will not be moved, Lord. I don't care what the wicked and their hands are trying to do. We take a stand, we make a stand, walking in the way. Somebody help me right now. Walking in the ways of your abundant light, I will not be moved, walking in the way of your abundant life I will not be moved Lord I'm walking in the ways of your abundant life I will not I will not be moved I will not be moved yeah. and I will not be moved nah, 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 nah. yeah yeah I will not be moved. I want to say I love this Holly Duff, Priscilla, Steve Hunt, Mike Woods hanging out. David, let's see if I can get it right. You Shakian? Oh boy, probably. <laughs> Sylvia, Lynette, Sharada. Hope I'm saying that, Robert. We're going somewhere in this new year for Jesus. Filled up with the power's word. I had a few friends just say, Kent, man, you stayed on it, man. Even in the midst of all of 2020 COVID, wild, weird election stuff, results. But the word of God is eternal. We're singing, we're worshiping, living in his presence. Let's, let's just do that, okay? Let's just keep doing that at a high level. In your presence, 
I'm living in your presence. Yeah, living in your presence. It's where I'm going to be. presence and in your victory something to study, meditate on, and think on at a high level. For sure, Psalm 36, these verses are for our edification and to help us live the lifestyle of worship in the Word. What? We're living the lifestyle of worship in the Word, the lifestyle. Worship in the Worship in the Word, living out, living out. Worship in the Word. Oh. Well, we love you guys. Hey, here's what's coming up. I want you to pray about it. I just finished a very powerful weekend in Grove, Oklahoma. Carla and I drove down Saturday morning and we did a two hour session with the worship team and the pastors and the leadership of Grove Christian Center. It was super powerful. I uh, kind of did a rehearsal. Then we got into Saturday night at six seeking and soaking. Dude, it was somewhere on another planet, man. We got, we got in, the presence of God came, uh, Pastor David and, and Rhonda <laughs> Knox. Uh, Rhonda just got like she was almost slain in the spirit. <laughs> we started praying for people, new beginnings. This is the launch pad. It's a prophetic word. I went, God, okay, so what are you saying for the streams? He said, well, you're going to start getting on four, three to five, seven days uh, in a week. All your streams are going to be connected. And it just started coming to me while I was thinking this morning. The seven um, Hebrew words for praise, I'm going to do that. The seven redemptive names of the Lord we've never done. So we're going to take all seven, and we'll see when I kick it up. Also, I want to point this out. Um, pretty sure it's First Kings. i got to remember the chapter. Carla might remember. She's right here. Um, about the pool of Gihon, the pool of anointing. She's been bringing this up to me for uh, at least six months, probably from late last summer. And I finally found my old teaching on this where uh, Adonijah, Adonijah tried to take the king, the place of the king away from his own dad, David, and from Solomon. So he anointed, he, he was full of pride and arrogance, and I don't like him very much. And he had called a bunch of people in. They slaughtered, you know, the bulls and the calves. They were, we're celebrating, I'm the next king. When they didn't even check with David, his own father, who was up in years. When Nathan the prophet knew the promise that David had made to Bathsheba that Solomon would take his place. So we'll get into this teaching coming up. And I want you to pray for me as I put this back together. Because I've got partial notes from many years ago. But the, the pool of his anointing is where 
the real release of kingship and power and victory comes from. So at the end of the story is they put Solomon, David said, put Solomon, my son, on my donkey with Nathan the prophet, Zadok the priest, and Benaniah, and take him down and anoint him, and let the voice of the Lord be heard. And there's a whole group of people, uh, the Cherethites and the Perizzites, that went down. This was David's bodyguard, and people that loved David went down and did that. They poured the oil over Solomon's head at the pool of G-I-H-O-N, Gihon. He was anointed the next king. And let me say it this way, shiver me timbers, the shout of victory that came off that anointing was heard in the city and Adonijah and all of his buddies. Well, people started leaving his party real fast because <laughs> they wanted to actually live and not die. But see, there's, there's people trying to usurp your place or the enemy has tried to usurp that which is righteous and right. But the true pool of his anointing is where kingship and victory is declared. So that's just the tiny little bitty version. We're going to do a whole stream on it. So anyway, I appreciate you guys praying for me. This is a new year, and I've really been seeking the Lord on what we should do. But wouldn't it be cool, man, if we can actually get uh, the seven redemptive names? And I'm going to do them in biblical order. The first redemptive name of the Lord, of the Lord Jehovah, um, was Jehovah Jireh, where he provided the ram in the bush for Abraham. I went, oh my God, thank you. Provision, the Lord will see to it that you're provided for. Uh, and then we're just kind of run through all those. And so we'll be able to spend like, and we'll narrate scriptures around that. But this is kind of, I, I believe, an unfolding, like the Lord's kind of lifting the veil off of what are we doing the next year or two. It's still going to be based always around the eternal Word of God. But I think narrating, well, I, I got tons of response on the key of David. That was kind of like not one biblical passage, like from verse 1 to verse 10. And the key of David, even some of you guys that are on here every day, you went, oh, my God, Ken, where was I at? Like with me, Isaiah 22, 22. And then I think it's Revelation 3, 9 to the church of Philadelphia. See, the Holy One, the true one holds this key of David. That key for worshipers, when he closes something, it can't be open. And when he opens something, it can't be shut. We're going to be seeing more power in that as we worship and pray in his presence. I believe that he's going to tell us, shut this right now. It's going to happen. Intercessors, a remnant army of intercessors is arising. Hey, this is pretty good so far, isn't it? <laughs> When planning on doing this, Matt, but this is where I'm headed that, again, we're going to do the voice of the Lord, the prophetic word of the moment, right out of the scripture. We're going to pray into it, narrate it, get it in our hearts. It's going to make us stronger for the next, I, I keep saying two years. We're running with the vision and the mantle of the Lord through the next 24 months. This is the end of January, but it's going to happen at a super high level. And I know you guys on here for real, you, you're not coming on this stream. We've been going 91 days straight up March to June. And then we got back up like in the middle of June or the end of June. We've been going, we're over 200 episodes, 75 minutes long or so. But anyway, thank you for supporting us. There's no way, me and Matt and Carla talk about it. Uh, what happened last April, May, June, and July as I, my eight weekends canceled or postponed, I'm actually doing some of them. I did two last year and I'm doing another four this year. Uh, we had like no money coming in because I was traveling, you know, rate, doing offerings, honorariums, all that. And our whole budget came in. I've never seen that in my life for this ministry. So all the people that have been on here for a while, I, I'm saying straight up. Uh, thank you so much. And all of us, Matt, Carla, Taryn, his wife, we're very grateful. And, uh, you know, we're, you're going to be seeing Matt praying and stuff. We just kind of got off hammering the offering at the end, uh, just, just through some things some people shared with us. Hey, we don't need to do that every time and stuff. People are giving anyway. But thank you, thank you, thank you for partnering with us. And I see Ruth Moore already said, wow, Kent sounds great. Uh, I'm not, I haven't read any of the other ones, but... Uh, this is where we're going. 
the prophetic, spontaneous word of the Lord can be walked out undergirded by the eternal word of God, which is where it comes from anyway. And I believe that we're going to some great places in the new year now in Jesus' name. All right, I'll see you tomorrow at four o'clock. God bless.